Finally, another Weenie Wheels Wednesday. Let's go. Okay, because it's been such a long time since I've done a Weenie Wheels Wednesday, I've collected quite a bit of things, and some of it's good. Uh, just recently, I've found some new cases. It has been a really hard year for Hot Wheels in Canada, but every once in a while something appears. I haven't been finding a plentifulness, and maybe I haven't been going to, I guess I haven't been going to the toy stores as much either. You kind of have to be there when the cases show up to get the good stuff, but I did manage to get some good stuff. So this is something that I wanted for a long, long time. Came to the dollar store, $2.50 each for these, which is kind of a great deal. My favorite things to collect. I don't think I'm going to open anything today. Maybe I will. We don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I, I'm definitely not going to open these. This is going to be a dedicated video, but the spring collection is my favorite. That is five of five. I've opened up 19 from year 19 and year 22 this is year 23 and they were showing up at the dollar store but every time i would go there wouldn't be the whole set wouldn't be left and i guess people were buying the whole collections because i found this case and the case was pretty big so there were a lot of them so people when they find them they buy them all up and i mean i understand they're so 80s the colors are so bright and vibrant i guess they're more 90s but i love them and i, I love the well this time there's no translucent stuff on them but great great colors number four i'm not doing i'm not showing them to you in any order they put the year on the cars and they have you know kind of minimal paint but it's done so well so cool i love this collection and you know i love a, a jeep so this looks good oh and we got lots of translucent going on there with the windows and stuff um, amazing, amazing series. So very happy to finally get those because they were showing up at uh, closer to the beginning of the year and I kept missing them and only finding one or two, but I finally found uh, they replenished them and I actually could have gotten them at a few different Dollaramas in Canada because I guess, I don't know, they started getting them also at the Dollarama. Never did I ever think I would find the crushed cars. Uh, I've done many videos or talked a lot about the crushed cars, and I do have the full collection of, well, up until this year, where they issued some of them that aren't solid. It's a full collection of the ones that aren't solid. I never, the solid ones came out first, so I never thought I would find them. But, um, yeah, I've done lots of videos on these, and I love them, and I don't like the monster trucks that they come with, really, so I'm going to try to sell those on eBay. I don't know how well they'll sell, but it's worth the $4 from the Dollarama just to get the crushed cars. Now, I am missing one, kind of. Like they count, they come out in different assortments. Every assortment, it looks like they all put out one or two um, different colored cars. The solid colored ones came out first, and I mean, I missed them. I I didn't know. There's an orange one though, and I don't think I've been to a lot of Dollaramas, and I didn't see the orange one. And there's also a red solid one that I, I, I don't know, when I Google the crushed cars on, I, other ones pop up. Like there's another red one. There's one of these. There's four styles and the orange style is different and I'm missing it. And I don't know if I'll ever find it, but I felt that way about these. And sometimes they reissue them, and sometimes, yeah, sometimes they come out with, uh, they keep the same deco, and they put them out with other monster trucks. So hopefully 
the battle will happen, or the Dollarama will get a different case. The orange, when I Google it, does come up the least. So I was just going to crack these open and open it right now. Um, maybe, maybe I will at the end of this video. Maybe I'll wait till the orange one. This takes up space though, so I'd rather have them out of their cars. Where am I going to put them? They're not going to fit into my regular showcase. Nonetheless, I've got lots and lots to show in this video. Uh, a Matchbox car that i pretty sure I don't have. Yeah, I, I checked. Uh, I, I have gone through what's happening in Hot Wheels. I got caught up. I watched um, some of the videos of what's in all of the cases and uh, looked at looked on Wiki to find out uh, there, there's Hot Wheel Wikis and I looked on to see what I was missing and what I wanted the most and what I and I I mean I was collecting the 80 series. The 80 series was kind of a disappointment to me. Too much deco on it. Uh, I don't know. They just, they just didn't look good. Um, I got rid of of most of the 80s ones that I had. I did save a few because some of the 80s ones were good. But instead, um, um, I have, I mean, I've completed sets. So I've completed the, I've completed one set. I completed the Sweet Rides. So I'm definitely gonna have to show you the whole set of that. And that includes this donut treasure hunt, which also makes me complete my donut collection. Now there are, American exclusive donuts like the ones that are available at Target like the red there's a red donut and uh, I think there's other I don't know Myers or I don't know Dollar General or other stores have exclusives that the stores aren't available in Canada so I can't count them as having the complete collection if I can't get my hands on them it is a hard time for Canadian toy collecting. There's a lot of things we haven't been getting, especially the Masters of the Universe in Canada. It's really annoying and upsetting and uh, it's sad. I always get most of these. I think I'll have to check to see if I've gotten all of these, but they're all, they always have this translucent top on them. And uh, they're I, track champs, track racers, they always they're I don't know I have to try these out on my tracks apparently they work out they work really well but um, I mean they always have this translucent top so I always have to get it because they look so cool I love this combination too I've gotten uh, the other one this is probably the redeco for this year because I or I did get another one this year and then this, I love this one as well because it's got a kind of moving part, a removable part, and you can mix and match the drone feature on here. I have recently opened up the other two of those, so I have a third now. They redecoed it this year, so that's really cool, and mix and match the tops and bottoms. So that's one that I can open up on its own, and I don't collect the, match, the Metro series. But I do collect, oh, I do collect the brick building sets. Now, I thought that the wiki people, if you look on Google and you look up and you see what's available, like at the beginning of the year, it just showed five of these. And I was really disappointed because I was hoping that they would redeco them the whole, there were five in a series. And I was hoping they would, they usually, they only redeco Hot Wheels one color in the year so you have the chance of getting the same car in two colors and this year they did it for all five of these now like the wiki wasn't being updated i mean the wiki was being updated periodically so i thought that they had some kind of inside scoop but as cases were coming out they were adding more and more and i thought i had finally completed the brick rides but no, there is one more. They have released another one. So I can show you the full collection of those because I have those standing by. So here is one, number one. So we have this guy and then they redecoed him in black. And I always get two of these because these are the coolest. I mean, they're, they're mega constructs, they're Hot Wheels. They're two great Mattel brands all in one. So amazing. So those two 
in gecko to number one. And then is number two the one that, yeah, number two is the one that I think it comes out in a blue or something, and I don't have a uh, deck oh, of that one yet. I guess it's at the last case, the end of the year. So we are getting to the end of the cases. So that is why I'm starting to complete sets. And number three. So yeah, we're I'm expecting a redeco on that one. Number three, number three. Oh. Number three is a really good one. This one was new this year. I think so. So uh, this suite in two colors. I uh, love that one. I can't wait because, yeah, I don't have that one yet. I'm waiting to see with that big brick back on there, how that plays out. And then... And that was three, so number four. Oh, I finally get to put these together. So here is the first color, and then the second color, which I just picked up this week, looking like that. So uh, very good. Red and green complementary colors, looking super good together. That's a really cool one, too, and that one's new for this year which I love it. Look, they put the new on the first release, and then they don't tell you that on the second. Did they do that on this puppy, too? I don't see where it says new. This was new, though. I don't, I don't have that one yet. Sometimes in Canada, they leave that stuff out. And then the final, the fifth, which is why we got the fifth before we got the second, the fifth recolor before we got the second recolor, if that makes sense to you. <laughs> but So I thought we weren't getting any more recolors because they kind of usually do them in order. But here, again, another green and red. So sweet. This one's a good one, too. This one, I believe I have already and again removable pieces that's the best kind of car moving parts removable pieces that's what it's all about here are the three 80s ones that i actually kept the other ones they're gone now i didn't need them i'm trying to be minimalist i'm looking at the list of other things that are available on the wiki you don't always get to see pictures though of the stuff that's available so, um, there's, there's a Range Rover that's, I think, all in gray, and I think that's pretty much all that I want or need, but let's take a look at, uh, this one. Okay, so I found this other plain treasure hunt, so it's a treasure hunt, as you can see the little logo on the back of the card there, so I picked it up, but, I mean, I was, uh, I smashed, the card was in great condition when I got it, but... I threw it in my bag and apparently it this one can be opened up because I I just uh, I destroyed the card and then this is such a cool one I already have this I uh, smashed up this card too uh, they usually redeco them a little bit it would be it'll be cool to see how they changed it but the Beatles yellow submarine is an awesome one I really need to get the Barbie car is left to get in the series, and uh, that silver Range Rover or Jeep or I, I don't know what it is, but that I need to get too. And uh, screen the screen times is it under screen time. Yeah, there's a lot of Batman this year, and I'm think they, I'm not sure if they're putting the Batman in the screen times too, but. I got some good ones. These are all mostly repeats. Uh, another highlight from this year is the Braille car that I got in two colors. And I love a solid white and I, I love a solid silver, even though I think there's a stripe at the top of it. But those are those are super cool. So cool I had to get two. And uh, there's lots of Barbie cars. And I guess that one's left over from last year. I opened up all of the Barbie cars, but there's the new Barbie Corvette that's coming in. Wait, no. What is it? Anyway, there's a new Barbie car, and it's awesome. Oh, 
I'll get another one of those too. Okay, so I got three of those. The Braille card was pretty cool. This is why I'm, I'm digging in here for this because this recolor is awesome. I mean, I uh, love a white car. I love a red car. So I got a redeco of that. That falls under the factory fresh category, which I don't get all of, but that is a beauty. And another one that there's not many left that I have to get, but this is coming out in a recolor. I'm not sure what color it is. If it's navy, if it was blue, I probably wouldn't want it. But because this is a Hummer and it's in white and, you know, it's a GP car, I love that. I love that one. Oh, here's a here's another GP Jeep. It's a Jeepster, and uh, that one's pretty sweet. I'm not sure if that's coming out in an alternative color. Snoopy was a screen time from this year. That was um, a Night Rider car. That was a cool one from this year. And uh, oh, I already put this one away. I seem to really do like the art cars and the experimotors. I get a lot of those because they're fun. I think I put this with the collection. So I have a collection of blueprint cars that I, I really like. Every time I find a new blueprint car, I buy it. And uh, they made it in a white base and a black base. So this one's the white with blue writing, but they also made a blue with white writing. and. I believe I'm I, I have it I just put it away with the other I don't know why I did that I should keep at least till the end of the year but the the piece de resistance for this video is the completed sweet rides the last it's memorable because I'm really I, I'm a believe it or not from what I'm showing you right now, there's an experimenter from this year that I love getting. I am I am getting less and less cars this year. Oh, this one's really sweet too. So that's a screen time. Screen times, there's a I I guess I get most of the screen times because they are so cool. Oh yeah. Oh here's another one that I have to get the other one too. So this is they're redecoing this in the opposite colors too, and it has a removable hood. So you can mix and match the tops of those, which would be cool because it's going to be a white on white and then you can put the black on black together. I think that's how it goes. And then there's more. There's, I guess I can show you those two. That was a fit, really cool favorite art car from this year. And then always love this style. And... This is one, maybe I regret that one. That one comes in a redeco. And then the clip coupe, which I collected all of the very first clip coupes that have of the dot on it like that. I believe they do. I believe the first one they made like this came with this. And I think that this one, I think these two come in the reverse colors, which they're not even in the same series. But I think that is true. I think this one comes with a black and gold. And I think that this one's coming with a silver. And hmm, I'll have to look more into that. Don't quote me on that. But I, I did collect all of the silver ones from last year. Loads of them and filled a jar. I hope you saw that video. And then yeah, and I showed you the rest. Oh, and here's just a really cool truck that I got. So there might be some surprises. Uh, I'm questioning these two. I don't love those two. Maybe I don't need to have them because I already have better versions of this one. And I got this one because of the color. I just love a solid silver, but it's not really solid silver now that it's got a dot on it. Okay. That's everything. I'm going to show you the complete set of the sweet rides at the end of this video. Uh, what a mess I made, but I'll clean this up. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Okay. I, I, I buried...
of the sweet rides. So coming in at number one, oh yeah, this is this is the car that made me start collecting it. And I mean, it's a translucent jelly mold. Uh, I, I love it. Red and green again. <laughs> Complimentary colors. I love red and green cars. Uh, I guess that really shows all of them the best ones that's happening that way. Red, green, translucent, got some cream on top. Very, very cool. I love that car. Can't wait to open it. Number two of the sweet rides is, oh, it's a cupcake car. And I always, you know, thought the cupcake car was kind of so silly crazy and I was surprised that I didn't I do collect all of the donut cars but I think I missed the cupcake car train but I hopped on these two finally I have a couple of cupcake cars so that's good enough and at least I'm completing a series and probably one of the last series that I will collect it has to be a pretty special series the brick rides I wouldn't have gotten these otherwise I don't like the cupcake car enough but I'm, I'm happy to have two and it's a complete set so happy to get that and number three is something that I would get in the matchbox world I do tend to buy the, all of the food trucks I nor any van like this I just think that they look really cool so it's cool to get in two different colors I didn't realize that it was both hot chicken something that they do do uh, with with the recolors is that they keep the same deco Even though these have been released lots of times with lots of deco they did keep exactly the same design they just changed the colors and these are two pretty awesome cool colors i uh this one i probably really would have wanted despite it being a series or not the toaster is silly and i probably wouldn't have liked it it does have a moving part though uh, it looks like the toast pops down, and I think I've had a toaster before. I think I have a chrome version, which chrome is really cool, so no wonder I have that. I, I, I do have a problem not getting chrome cars or silver unpainted cars. I really like those, but that's cool. It's cool to have a toaster that I can open. I guess next week I'll be opening this series. And then the last one is the treasure hunt. Not a super a treasure hunt, just a treasure hunt. And it is the Donut Drifter. And it's in pretty cool colors. I like the glaze that they've got on that. Uh, sweet primary Barbie colors. Good for this year release. All sweet and cute and delicious i probably i don't think i've opened the donut cars so it would be a good time to open up all of those and all of my donut cars at the same time i can double check to see if i actually do have all of the donut cars when they make a car a treasure hunt it means that they're not going to redeco this one it's just going to be this one this year and that is A-OK -okay for me. One less thing that I have to track down in these hard times. I got to clean this up. I also can't wait to open up this one. And I'll just open up this one for fun too. And I should open up a Braille one, but sometime soon. But the outside of the package is just as awesome as the car itself. So that's hard, but I did get a few doubles of that. Oh, and I want to bring and show all of this collection. I wonder if I'll ever find year 19 or a, I have 8, 19, 20, year 20 I will be missing, but they have been doing this for quite a while. So I'm missing, I don't know, 16, 17, 18, wherever they started doing the spring cars. But I love the spring cars. It was, this was a big haul, a good haul. And then really waiting on the last Mega Blocks, and then I'll do that. That was a really good Hot Wheels video for me. I mean, I don't collect the Hot Wheels that most people love, but I collect the really weird ones, and uh, that's what we do here at Weenie Wheels Wednesday. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.